You may be surprised to learn that the European Space Agency, ESA, has launched a space telescope that shows even more stars than James Webb. The first color images from Euclid are truly incredible. Never before has a telescope shown us the immense beauty of the universe as magnificently and vividly as Euclid. But it's not just about beauty and stunning images. Euclid has a very special mission. No sooner had science digested James Webb's first fantastic images of the young universe than the next cracker came along. Just one year after Webb, the ESA launched a completely new space telescope, the likes of which had never been seen before. Euclid's images depict so many stars that the splendor of the universe and the wealth of stars and galaxies become visible in a way that leaves most people in awe. The globular cluster NGC 6397 can be seen here. Globular clusters are among the oldest known collections of stars in the universe. These star clusters are spherical in shape and often contain hundreds of thousands to millions of stars that are closely bound together by gravity. Many globular clusters are almost as old as the universe itself. The globular cluster NGC 6397 is located at a distance of around 7,800 light years from Earth and is estimated to be around 13.4 billion years old. The globular cluster is not a galaxy in its own right. It belongs to our Milky Way and probably consists of the oldest stars in the Milky Way. The age of the stars shows that our own galaxy also existed in the early days of the universe. It just looked very different back then. Over the course of millions of years, our galaxy has undergone changes. Stars have disappeared, new ones have been added, and it's likely that our galaxy, with more than 100 million stars today, was formed from the merger of several much smaller galaxies. Do you notice the enormous density of stars? And can you see how sharply and precisely these stars are depicted? These are the special capabilities of Euclid. No other telescope is currently capable of imaging the entire globular cluster in a single image. With all this light and sparkle, it's hard to believe that Euclid's true mission is actually darkness. Dark matter and dark energy are two mysterious components of our universe. Dark matter cannot be observed directly, and yet it probably makes up a significant part of the total mass of the universe. Due to this weight, it influences the movement of galaxies and galaxy clusters. Dark energy, on the other hand, is thought to be the driving force behind the accelerated expansion of the universe. The problem with both of these is that they are only scientific concepts and their existence has not yet been proven with certainty. In an unprecedented mission, Euclid will help scientists to better understand both components on the basis of observations. To this end, the telescope will record and map the large-scale structure of the universe over the next six years. By observing billions of galaxies and obtaining new data on their shape, movements, and distribution in the cosmos, effects such as the expansion of the universe should become even easier to understand. Is Euclid better than James Webb? On July 1, 2023, ESA's new superstar was launched into space on board a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. The telescope was on its way for several weeks until it reached a stable gravitational point 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. Euclid is named after the ancient Greek mathematician who gave us the mathematical theorem of the same name, according to which there are an infinite number of prime numbers, perhaps just as there are an infinite number of stars. Like James Webb, the telescope is considered another technological stroke of genius for mankind. It weighs around 2,100 kilograms and is equipped with a 1.2 meter primary mirror. This mirror is one of the key components of the telescope. It enables Euclid to collect even very weak faint light from billions of galaxies. Euclid is equipped with a visible light camera, a near-infrared spectrometer, and a photometer. In the future, these instruments will collect data in a spectral range of 550 to 900 nanometers and 920 to 2000 nanometers. The mission aims to map around 15,000 degrees of the sky which corresponds to around 35% of the entire visible celestial spectrum. With its high precision instruments and extensive coverage, Euclid will capture the distribution and shapes of billions of galaxies in a more precise and condensed way than any other telescope before. It got off to a bumpy start. 
After Euclid took up its position at the Sun-Earth Lagrange Point 2, and all its technical equipment was put into operation, ESA was concerned about stray light and a sensor that caused the telescope to spin. However, the technical problems were quickly resolved, and ESA proudly presented the first images on November 2, 2023. Let's move on to the exciting question of whether Euclid is really that much better than James Webb. In truth, both telescopes are unique in their own way and designed for completely different scientific objectives. While the James Webb Space Telescope, the successor to the Hubble Space Telescope, is designed to peer into the deepest and oldest parts of the universe, Euclid has a very different mission, mapping the large-scale structure of the universe to unravel the nature of dark matter and dark energy. James Webb, on the other hand, was built to study the formation of galaxies, stars, and planetary systems in the early universe. The main difference lies in the observation methods and instruments. JWST primarily uses infrared technology to look behind dust clouds and observe the earliest phases of the universe. Its mirror has a diameter of 6.5 meters, giving it an unparalleled ability to detect faint light signals. Euclid is equipped with a 1.2-meter mirror and combines visible light with near-infrared observations. Its main goal is to measure the geometric and dynamic properties of the universe. Euclid uses the weak gravitational lensing effect and baryonic acoustic oscillation to study the effects of dark matter and the expansion of the universe by dark energy. James Webb is also partly an ESA project. NASA, ESA, and the Canadian Space Agency were involved in its construction and funding. And as you can see, Euclid was launched on board a SpaceX rocket from a NASA spaceport. So there's no question of competition here. It's more about the two telescopes working together. And even the old Hubble telescope is still performing faithfully. Scientists are grateful for each of these telescopes, and data and findings are exchanged worldwide, and ultimately the projects serve humanity as a whole. What news does the Horsehead Nebula provide? It took Euclid just one hour to image the entire Horsehead Nebula in this beautiful image. Hubble still needed almost a day for this image in the near-infrared range. The Euclid telescope has a much smaller mirror than Hubble and can therefore resolve the Horsehead Nebula less precisely. However, due to the larger viewing angle, the telescope can capture a much larger area with a single image. The differences in the strengths of the telescopes are very clearly visible here. In any case, there was great relief at ESA after these first images. The images fully met expectations and Euclid's triumphal march continues. Cosmic Beauty, Spiral Galaxy IC 342 Euclid's first images are truly stunning. Among the first images was an impressive one of the Spiral Galaxy IC 342 also known as the Hidden Galaxy, or Caldwell 5. This galaxy is hidden behind the dense disk of our Milky Way and was previously difficult to observe due to being obscured by dust, gas, and stars. However, thanks to its high sensitivity and excellent optics, Euclid was able to capture a clear and detailed image of this galaxy. What is particularly remarkable about this image is the exceptional performance of the near-infrared instrument which was able to easily see through the dust and capture the light from the galaxy's numerous cool and low-mass stars. IC 342 is located at a distance of about 11 million light-years from Earth and is a close neighbor of our galaxy in astronomical terms. It's about the size of the full moon in the sky and is similar in structure to the Milky Way. By studying galaxies such as IC 342, astronomers hope to gain valuable insights into the structure and development of galaxies. The Hubble Space Telescope has observed the hidden galaxy before, but was only able to image its core in a comparatively faint image. Only now, thanks to Euclid, will it be possible to study the entire galaxy and its star formation history. Throughout the duration of the mission, Euclid will observe billions of similar and more distant galaxies to provide us with a three-dimensional view of the known universe. Irregular Galaxy NGC 6822 NGC 6822, or Barnard's Galaxy, is also revealed in all its stellar splendor thanks to Euclid. This galaxy is part of the local galaxy group and is only 1.6 million light-years away from Earth. 
The galaxy was discovered in 1884, but at that time, it was not yet clear whether the point of light in the sky was a group of stars or an entire galaxy. It was not until 1925 that Edwin Hubble discovered this. In contrast to larger, well-structured spiral galaxies such as our Milky Way, NGC 6822 is small and irregularly shaped. These characteristics are typical of galaxies in the early universe, which then merged and formed larger galaxies. This galaxy is of interest to scientists because its stars contain small amounts of elements that are heavier than hydrogen and helium. These elements, generally referred to as metals in astronomy, are produced by stars in the course of their lives and are rather rare in the early phase of the universe. The images of NGC 6822 help astronomers to understand how galaxies were formed in the early universe and how they evolved. In the images, scientists were able to identify many globular clusters that provide valuable clues about the composition of the galaxy. In addition to the globular clusters, Euclid's infrared observations of NGC 6822 also reveal regions of ionized hydrogen where rich star formation processes have recently occurred. These observations will help to understand the distribution of these star-forming regions, known as H2 regions, and complete our picture of galaxy evolution. Euclid also captured NGC 6822 in high resolution and its entire surroundings in just about an hour. This achievement would have hardly been possible with ground-based telescopes due to atmospheric disturbances. In space, these sources of interference are eliminated, which explains why James Webb and Euclid deliver very detailed images. Incredible Perseus Galaxy Cloud Here too, Euclid has landed a real hit. Look at the beauty and brilliance of the Perseus Galaxy Cluster. 240 million light years away from us, the cluster contains around a thousand galaxies. The Euclid telescope image shows many more galaxies some of which are up to 10 billion light years away. From now on, always be there when the latest video hits come out and press subscribe now.